This is JT Ippolito for Sync Media Network. We're again here at Interdrone 2019, and we're at the booth for the Nevada Business Aviation Association advocating STEM education for Nevada's youth. Every state should have something like this. We need more people in STEM, especially women. Come out. You will be welcome, and you need this. And they have some uh, 3D printed planes, and I think that's... Uh, the F-86? F-86, 1960s, and... The A-10. A-10. Uh, that's called the... Uh, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, thank you. I'm so far out of the military now. And I'm here with Stephen, who's going to give us a brief one-minute overview live. And you can go to their site, uh, which is asanevada.org. Go ahead, Stephen, okay. tell us a little about it. So what we have presented here on our booth, uh, we have uh, various projects presented in by our students. Uh, what are really? our projects over here, if you want to yes. walk around here. So our students here created this project here, uh, made out of a Raspberry Pi, this small oh, yeah. computer in here. I want to zoom in and bring in the camera here. So we have oh, Raspberry my gosh. Pi and Arduino. Our students created this and in, uh, created an emulator to recreate old arcade games. So we have Mario, Super Mario on there, um, Galaga, Pac-Man. That is great. great now over here, as you saw with the uh, 3D um, models over there, right. printed, we also have a 3D printed jet engine. Now this here is actually having uh, color coded. We have a new version um, getting ready where we're going to present to students uh, beginning with the colder color seen as representing that the cold air goes through here as it goes towards the end it gets hotter so these parts will be printed in red showing this is where the heat ends this is a must-have organization anything else you want to show us oh i saw these <laughs> <laughs> so here another raspberry pi project uh, created by one of our other students here using the same computer here a raspberry right. pi 3 um, this is another um, board called a Makey Makey. This right. allow, gives you the ability to touch um, this. Uh, Are you kidding me? Here. You can touch the other inputs, stuff like that. One right Look at this. See everyone, and we need women in STEM, but guys and girls, come. Look what you can develop with simple, simple tools. And you can help the industry out. You start out as a, a small company, and I've seen companies go to $3 billion in a year. So that's amazing. And this one looks like a... Yes, a VR uh, section. So we have here uh, flight simulators, actually. Um, we've also in incorporated the ability to put in a VR headset. So that can yes, go yes. Oculus and um, HTC Vibe. Students can able to put on their headset just like this. Put them on. And then given the ability to grab uh, the joystick and fly the simulator. Outstanding. I want uh, VR, AR capabilities. Sure. What we have here is uh, our aviation card set. So what we have here, we have different cards that we have printed out. We're going to give these away to children over at the Reno Air Racers. Uh, it's going to be smart. Over. Uh, it's going to be in a couple days. We're going to give them out, hand them out. We're going to be in charge of the STEM Discovery Zone. Huge uh, tent, uh, massive. We're going to have thousands of children come by. They're going to go pick up cards, look at all these uh, various other projects. We have even more on the way with a small showcase. What we have here is um, they can collect these cards here. They can also download our, our app called Grat AR. Scan it. Yeah, scan the card. And now pops a 3D model. AR. AR, just like that. This is the model of the uh, Look at that. Falcon. AR is really taking over for VR. <laughs> this is another plane right here, the F-18. You can click on this button here. Information pops up that they can read. And you guys developed this? Yes. See, guys? 35 years at IBM, we never had any of this crap. <laughs> And I want to come back and say crap because this is bleeding edge tech. So make sure I want to I want to thank Stephen, and this is a great organization. I'm sure there's other chapters in other states, maybe. Uh, I believe so. Um, if you'd like to know a lot more, uh, you can actually definitely contact us through our website. Yeah. On okay. Ask Nevada. A, um, you can also contact the website, which is uh, rad.co. Okay. Write an email, uh, speak to our CEO, Reza Karamu. 
Thank you. I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. That was outstanding. Back to you, Eileen. JT Epolito, Sync Media Network.